Hi, welcome aboard this 2008 50 Tamarin Timo. It's Peter here from Freedom Marine. And today we're gonna to go through a little walkthrough of this vessel. We're actually really fortunate today to have the owner of the vessel on board. He's uh, the brains and the mastermind behind all the extra features and great things that uh, have been equipped on this vessel over the last number of, year, number of years. Um, we're currently located here in central in the southern Gulf Islands. And uh, Dennis, uh, if you don't mind, tell us a little bit about your cruising area here and what you've done on this vessel at the back. Absolutely, thanks, Peter. Um, so I'm Dennis, and uh, this is my '52 Maritimo. We uh, have owned it for about five years. We're a, we're a cruising family, a fishing family, and uh, you know we we love the southern Gulf Islands, the San Juans, which are about 10 miles away. Um, as well, we boat on the outside of the island and uh, up towards the beautiful desolation area. Um, we spend a lot of time on our boat, so we, we took the time to find the right boat for us. Uh, we wanted a blue water boat, and we wanted a boat that had a fully enclosed flybridge because we boat all year round. Um, we wanted to make sure we had air conditioning, we had heat, we uh, could do everything that our family wants to do. Um, we started when we bought this boat. We knew that uh, with kids we needed to have toys and keep them active. So we uh, installed a Presto Marine lift to uh, make sure that we had easy access to the dinghy uh, because we do have a dog as well. And we wanted to not have to worry about craning uh, our tender off every time the dog needed to go out. Um, we've done a bunch of different upgrades. We've added um, I'm a fisherman and we like to uh, fish on route, so we've added autopilot and a full Garmin package for fishing. As well with the aft uh, uh, controls, we've added uh, trolling valves, so we can slow the vessel down and troll. Um, we've added some upgrades, we added a 12 volt system on port and starboard so that we can have our prawn pullers, crab pullers, uh, or downriggers and uh, it's really changed the experience on how we use the boat back here. Um, like I said, being all your boaters, we added this extra large uh, canopy so that when we're out barbecuing, uh, you don't get wet. Um, we upgraded to a Kenyan grill from the factory grill, much easier to use, electric, and uh, no propane on board, which is nice. Um, extra large deep freeze, which we use all the time. Um, especially on long voyages, we go away for 60 plus days. It's nice being able to stock it and uh, it's always full and uh, we can take, take our meat and never have to worry about it. Awesome, Dennis, that is uh, that is fantastic. I even like this little feature where he's got a forward facing camera on the chart plotter so you can see, see where you're going when you're working the deck back here. Why don't you take us inside and show us some of, your, some of the things that uh, works really well for you and your family when you're working inside. Sure. The, uh, the one thing we can probably hear it right now, we've got the furnace going, we added. Uh, but one thing I wanted to note, we also added outside heat. Um, it seems kind of silly, but when you're outside driving a boat, fishing or cruising, uh, you can put your furnace on and you get nice heat out here. From a, a galley standpoint, uh, you know, it's key to have a lot of nice luxuries. But the one thing we do use a lot is the dishwasher. Uh, it sounds crazy, but it's way easier. It allows us to spend more time doing family things. Um, and it uses less water. We added, we took out the microwave, added a, a KitchenAid uh, air frying stovetop oven, or uh, yeah, oven. It has a, a large pantry pull out, as well, full size, full size fridge, full size fridge and uh, a secondary freezer that we use all the time. One of the upgrades that we did, we took out, because we are gone all the time, we needed more space. Uh, there used to be a small fridge in here, but instead we switched it and made extra large pull-out pantry, just so that we can uh, have all the things we need and not have to worry about it on our trips. Um, we added little things for uh, safety, for having all our life jackets up, making it easily accessible. Um, 
Each room has its own furnace uh, thermostat so that we can have heat wherever we need. There is a pop-up TV as well. The dinette folds out so it's uh, extra large. It can sit lots of people. And under each of the seats are lots of storage, um, our stereo system, and extra storage everywhere in here. And apart from all the storage and all the great cruising features that this boat has on this main level, I really like that they got a lot of good airflow in this boat. Yeah. You know, there are some great summer hot days, and if you're in different climates, you can open up the side door. You've got big opening windows on port and starboard as well. So it's, uh, it's just, I, I really like that feature that they incorporated to think about all, all, all climates. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. So when we head on downstairs. So when we were looking for a boat, we wanted to make sure because we have uh, three children and we also entertain and have guests all the time. So it's a three stateroom boat, plus the Flybridge uh, dinette turns into uh, an extra double bed. So you can actually sleep eight people comfortably on the boat. Um, plenty of storage in the master. Uh, underneath the bed folds up and uh, very large, lots of extra storage. There's two dressers. Um, the master also has its own um, head, uh, complete, not just a wet head, has its own shower. And um... tech my electric flush toilets and lots of good airflow in here as well. Absolutely. I really appreciate all the opening hatches and overhead hatches. So it's a three stateroom, two head layout. So you've got the forward VIP where Dennis is now, and then we've got a bunk room that we'll show you on the way back. Lots of closet space, good overhanging. There's two closets plus small dresser underneath the uh, bed, which allows for extra storage. Also with the Jack and Jill for the, uh, for the head. All the spaces are really generous. Like I'm, I'm six foot, six foot one. I got height everywhere. The showers are a good height. The space they've done a really an amazing job for 52 feet. Even the bunk room here on the starboard side is a really the berths are long. Um, you've got a nice big closet here with a washer dryer combo. Really well organized works really well and gets used a lot. Yeah. We also have storage under the stairs for extra sp things that you need. And I think you added a, a larger hot water tank you mentioned. Yes, we did, yeah. Change that and put in a bigger one in. One of the shining features is the enclosed flybridge. And I don't think we'll find a, a better one in terms of what Dennis and the family have done to make it into a really comfortable space for, for extra guests. Um, kids want to just hang out upstairs. He's got it set up so you have blackout screens. You can make a berth out of that space. Um, the, a photo will be, we'll be able to show a photo of, of that in the listing as well. Um, but for now, let's head on up and check out the, uh, the amazing stuff that you've done upstairs. So as Pete was mentioning, uh, this is really one of the main zones of the boat for us. Uh, whether the kids are downstairs or upstairs, it's, it's kind of a three level boat so that everybody has their space when you're doing long voyages or spending that much time on a boat. Um, up here, what we've done is we relocated because we entertain, we relocated the fridge. Uh, we've got a, a wine fridge as well, uh, a beer fridge at aft. And as Pete was mentioning, the, uh, the dinette actually goes, it's, uh, goes down and we can make this into a double berth. We've invested and made complete blackouts for all the uh, windows. So it's very cozy for another couple. Uh, typically this is where the teenagers stay when they're uh, all over on the boat. 
Uh, the helm chairs uh, do turn and pivot, so if you're entertaining and have people, it's more seating. Um, we've invested in a new ice maker, which is uh, the easiest way to make friends when you're out boating, especially with sailors. <laughs> yeah. uh, as Pete mentioned, we have uh, a helm camera as well as the aft camera, so that uh, you can always see what you're doing when, you need, when you're not near the helm. I really like the color and the upholstery you've done up here. You, you reupholstered everything up here as well recently. Yeah, it's the, the it's all freshened within the last year. Um, Stid seats, which are fantastic. Uh, we had a little table made that uh, is for passages, so that when you're underway, you can just add your charcuterie board or your sandwich when you're underway. It's nice. Yep. Um, one of the best features to the boat that we added a long time ago that we're very happy with is a yacht controller. Um, this boat is shaft driven with uh, forward and rear thrusters. Um, this is a game changer when it comes to docking. It makes yeah, life absolutely. way easier. Has two remotes. Um, it also has full autopilot and uh, you know, just makes boating way easier when we're underway. For me as the captain, the, the thing I love the most is the visibility. You know, when you're yeah. underway, whether you're slow, going 10 knots, or you get up on step and you're doing 20, uh, you've got great visibility. It's, un it's incredible, Dennis. So tell me, when you're, when you're cruising with your wife and you're on board, what, what is, where is, where is her for favorite spot? And what, what is it that about this boat that the two of you really appreciate? Yeah, so if we're not at the helm, or even if I'm at the helm with autopilot, uh, Christy's favorite spot's the Lido deck, Pete. Okay. <laughs> so what we did, uh, this is not a standard feature on the Maritimo, but we got the idea from some of the new ones. And uh, we had some friends for, who are st uh, stainless workers make us this rear aft seating. Um, normally there's just a, a rail here and we had it converted so that while we're underway or if we're entertaining, um, this is where the adult zone is. Um, we do a lot of dinners as a family out here in the summer up in Desolation. Yep. But uh, as you know, when, when we have friends over, this is the place to be. And uh, it's quite nice on a night evening to have a cocktail and just relax out here. Absolutely. And, and it, as part of your entertaining and just enjoyment out here on the cooler nights, you've also added, now I, this camera won't be able to show it totally, but there is two, uh, there is two vents up here as well hooked into the hydronic heat system. So it blows across your feet and keeps keeps the ambient temperature a little bit warmer out here as well, which just extra thought and all the little details yeah. you've done, I, I, it's, we, it's amazing. We've got the LED lights as well wrapped underneath. Yep. So, uh, you know, you can definitely set the mood if you're having a one of those fun evenings. Yeah, and it's a really safe, secure setup you've got here. Absolutely. Well, and like you're in Christy's favorite spot. Yeah. Uh, she sits back, reads a book if we're crossing the strait or heading up to Desolation. Read a book, get some sun and just enjoy your, enjoy the trip. Nice. And on those days where you want to be inside, she's got an awesome seat beside you to hang out and, Absolutely. and be your, your co-pilot as well. Absolutely. Awesome. Like like most boaters too, we've, uh, we've added Starlink. Yep. Uh, we did hardwire it, so we had a custom mount made okay. uh, yeah. just because it is a beautiful boat and we wanted to make sure that everything fits. It's not just on the rail sticking out awkwardly, so it fits the line of the boat as well. Yeah, see that. Very nice. Um, so with these boats, there's different engine packages. There's the cat powers, there's the common powers. Yep. Um, this, I believe, in, in I think a lot of people's opinions would be the Cummins QSM 11 would be the preferred setup on this boat. Correct. Um, tell us about your experience with the engines and and how you like to run the boat. Absolutely. So I'm I'm a big fan. I my previous boat was also a Cummins, um, smaller engine. The the QSM 11s are they're really good engines as far as fuel economy. Yeah. Um, we've talked about it before. I normally cruise at 10 knots. Um, but in times when you've got to get somewhere or the weather gets nasty, you can get up and go in this yeah. boat. Um, the big thing is ease of main maintenance on this boat. Uh, we'll, I'm sure we'll go down and look at the engine room, but you can walk all the way around both engines. Yeah, they do an amazing job. On um, we've added some good features to the boat to help with maintenance. Um, 
I'm, I'm pretty fastidious about keeping the boat maintained. So every 125 hours, it's had an oil change. Um, we're doing a lot of the work. It's, it's up to date awesome. for where it needs to be based on its hours. Well, that is the heart of this boat, is the engine room, is the engines. Let's go have a look and you can show us around in there and sure. see what it's all about. One of the things I know with Maritimo as well is they, they really do focus on the performance aspect. They have a whole offshore race division at the factory that focuses on offshore performance, rough water, high speed, but efficiency. And they've done an amazing job with this to show you, and you, you'll see it, but the shaft angles on these boats are quite low. So the, the angle is not very steep on them, which creates a couple of things. It keeps the boat nice and level when you're doing slower, more displacement speeds. But when you get into the semi-displacement or planing hull speeds, the boat stays relatively flat during that transition as well, which ultimately helps keep the boat from squatting and it burns less fuel and gives incredible range at different, at different speeds. Um, so let's head on down and check out the engine room. You'll see the access here is incredible. It's got a one single hatch. You go right down into the engine room. It's all molded. You'll see it's pretty much all one piece as you go down. It's easy to clean, easy to main, look after on that front. These hulls are Kevlar reinforced as well, making it a very structurally strong and stiff down here. Great stringers. And you'll see every surface on this boat is actually finished, like a gel coat finished product down here. So yeah, any little drips or spills, easy to clean, but it presents extremely well. Dennis, tell us about what you like to do. Absolutely. So uh, as I mentioned, the engines are really good to get around. Um, some of the things that we've added to the boat, we, we added a US water maker, um, probably our favorite feature of the boat. Uh, this That's allows- That's a running. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's always running. It's, um, this is what allows us to stay out on the water. Um, we don't have to go to shore. If we fill up with fuel, which is 3,800 liters, uh, we've got the water maker, lots of filters, we're good to go. Um, I like how easy it is to access actually your all your primary filters here as well. Absolutely. That's... Yeah, the, the installer did a fantastic job on making ease of access. Um, our tool crib is easy. Uh, each thing in this boat room uh, really has a zone. So you've got your water, you've got your power management. Um, on the uh, starboard side, you'll actually notice we have uh, upgraded to the uh, Firefly uh, AGMs, which are carbon foam, um, a lot more, lot more amp hours, but also we can deplete them more if we need to, if we want to have more quiet time and not running the generator. Um, you'll also see we've got our hydronic furnace in the back, um, professionally installed, labeled, um, really happy with how it's working for us. So Dennis, I know uh, you're also pretty handy and um, <laughs> one of the features that you added to this boat was a full reverso uh, oil change system. Absolutely, yeah. So when we bought the boat, it didn't come with it. It wasn't standard feature in Maritimo. So we, we custom made a uh, pump and in addition to the main engines, we also added the generator and both transmissions. So uh, I do a lot of my own service and uh, this just makes life a heck of a lot easier. That's great. Um, another thing about this, we are talking about the performance and the shaft angles. I was just mentioning it upstairs. Yep. Um, but it's smart, you know, a lot of boats, this is open space. You're kind of climbing over the shaft, but they put this nice diamond plated piece over top. You can see how clean all the shaft seals are in good shape, um, but you can see that angle is really low, which really keeps the boat level at all speeds. You're not, you don't have that squatting feeling at different RPMs um, as much as you would on other uh, planing hulls, but so you can run at displacement speeds, semi-displacement speeds, full planing speeds, and it keeps the boat fairly level and again, keeps that economy and fuel efficiency quite low for the size and weight of a boat. Um, I think kind of the last thing to point out here is your access to the generator. 
again, a, a very easy serviceable item on board this vessel. Um, anything in particular that you're... You know, it, it, it's, it works well. Yeah. Let's just go with that. <laughs> it works well. Uh, great storage, great space. We could spend a lot more time down here just hanging out. Absolutely. Uh, let's go check out the Lazarette because that's an amazing space in this boat. So again, based on uh, us traveling, Pete, you know, the Lazarette yeah. is massive. Um, it has lots of space for all the toys and extra gear you need when you're traveling. Um, we have added a, uh, a pressure washing system. As you know, I'm a bit of a clean freak. And gonna when we're, I'm gonna show people that right now. When we're out for uh, longer trips and you, with, the, right with the water maker, um, we added the pump. I added 75 feet of uh, hose and non-scuff. So nice. whenever I want, I can wash my boat. That's amazing. Like it's, it's such a, you know, we've all got washed down hoses, but to have a, a pressure washing system for deep cleans, you can't replace something like that. Again, well organized. You've, you've installed the actual pressure washer hookup in this locker. Yeah, it's just down in there. So it doesn't impede with the locker on the other side, which also has your wash downs, a regular wash down and yeah. so on as well. Yeah. So with the water maker, it's nice because if you want to use 20 gallons of water, just cleaning up your boat, it's no big deal. Yeah. Well, Dennis, thank you very much for taking the time today to go through the boat with us and just show us a quick snapshot of what you and your family have done with this vessel. Thanks, it's, Pete. It is fantastic and uh, look forward to showing it to new somebody, somebody new. I hope somebody else will love it as much as we have. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much. Dennis. You're welcome, Pete.